So this is um, a tentacle mix and it's made up of 12 or 13 ingredients. Um, it varies depending which ball you're making. Uh, these have already been weighed out with compounded, ready to go on this machine. That's um, a mill and um, it's a bit like a cake mix really. You just add each ingredient slowly, give it time to blend. Um, and when you're ready and it's all mixed, it comes out something like this. So this is a piece being made this morning. This is a piece of rubber ready to start its journey for becoming a ball. This is one type of rubber, this is another. They're for different balls. Um, it's quite important that you get this part right. The, um, if you want a, a ball that has a, a different bounce or is harder, then the ingredients change. So um, this area, is, this bit is vital and um, you, you have to be very careful not to make any mistakes. But at this point, if you still make a mistake, um, you can put it right. The mix can be altered um, before the ball process begins. So this is where the journey begins. So those sheets of rubber that you saw, rolled up into this this machine it's called a bar well um, and it's, it's a pressured machine and um, you set the dimensions right and it, it produces you nuggets of rubber to start molding into a tennis ball and these are some here so here you go this is the beginnings of a tennis ball so one of these makes half a ball so two of those makes a whole tennis ball. <laughs> this is the press shop. Um, and this is where the half shells are tender. So this is a shell of tennis balls. It starts its journey like this. So this makes one big sheet. Goes into that press there. The sheet of um, rubber um, cores I showed you are punched out, um, ready to make your your balls. And then from this point, then they're joined together, and then they're cooked together to make sure that that joint is strong. And that's, yeah. These balls have been joined, and then they go in this mould. This is uh, the mullard. Um, it's a cycle of 20 minutes, which makes this a really strong joint. And at this, at the moment, you can see you can still pull apart. Um, so it won't make it full, whereas this has been through its cycle and it's properly, but it just won't break open now. The tennis ball cloth is all ordered on rolls and they're enormous, you know, you can't get your arms around them, they're taller than that, so you two people to lift at once. Um, that cloth has a solution, a bit like a glue applied to it to make it adhesive and then um, a figure of eights, the shape that you see on the tennis ball punched out. Uh, into big blocks. They're, they're dipped to make the edging of the, the balls into solution and then those pieces of cloth and the balls you've just seen go out to tennis ball coverers at home, home workers who um, cover the balls, put the cloth into the right place um, and then the balls come back into the factory, process and they come through the finishing moulds here. And at this point um, you could still take the covers, covers off the tennis ball but once it goes through these machines, it melts all the glue, or all, all the solution into place. Yeah, I mean, the fresh cloth is really easy to cover with because the glue is, um, you know, hasn't been set for so long. So you, the ball is easy. The coverers are so fast at it. Um, yeah. I'm a bit, a little bit of a novice, but I know how to do it. Um, so one figure eight, one side. Another figure eight goes the other side. And, oh, see, look. Mm. Um, and then it, it begins its covering journey. These two edges are pushed together. I don't know if it's not going to go together just because it's old cloth. Yeah. And then you just work your way, or the covers work their way round. Pinching round. Pinching the edges together. And when, it, when they're happy that all the cloth's joined, they go on to the next one. And it, you know, obviously it takes a little bit of time, but a, a good cover can, well, just lots of the covers can cover a ball in anything from sort of 30 to 40 seconds. It takes me about, about a minute, I think. <laughs> um, yeah.
free. There we go. So and then and then you saw it in the finishing moulds, and that's when all that glue melts yeah. into yeah. that nice seam. 